Hey guys, welcome to Deslogic. This is the 17th video that I have created for you guys on Adobe Illustrator for iPad. If you haven't checked out the previous videos, I will put the links in the description. You can check them out. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, in this video, I will try to explain the uh, object panel that is uh, inside the panel section of the application. So let's tap on that. As you can see, there are a couple of options. Uh, like the first one is the expand. Second one is group. Third one is make clipping mask. Fourth one is create stroke outline. Uh, fifth one is convert to guide. And the sixth one is make compound paths. So there are six options right now. And I will try to explain one by one. Here is one thing that is uh, necessary to discuss that expand and create stroke outlines work pretty much same. So I will discuss the create stroke outline for this specific video. So guys, let's start with the uh, group option. Uh, this is a simple uh, option that you can uh, group uh, two or more objects like that. Let's select them, tap on this object panel and just tap on this group option. And now these two shapes are grouped as you can see and you can also ungroup them by tapping the ungroup option they are now separated okay uh, the next option uh, is the clipping mask so clipping mask will work if you uh, overlap the uh, one shape on another so like that for example if you want that circle above this square and uh, you want to mask the square behind the circle so let's select both of them and uh, tap on this make clipping masks so the area that was inside the circle is now showing but the rest of the square is hidden or masked so you can also edit this mask by double tapping on the shape like that and you can you can edit the area that you wanna show behind that mask so let's undo that so the next option is create stroke outlines uh, so for example uh, let's select this shape which is a kind of leaf and um, Let's increase the stroke width like that. And now, uh, what will this option do? That if you tap on this, and now the uh, fill and stroke of this shape are now separated. This option have separated uh, the stroke and fill of this leaf. So you can work uh, on both of them separately. So it's really handy and a very uh, useful option. So the uh, fifth option is the convert to guide. Uh, this option will allow you to convert this shape into a guide and you can draw other shapes in reference to this leaf. So for example, if you tap on that, convert to guide and this shape has now become a reference guide for you to design and create other shapes in reference to this leaf. So the next option is to uh, make compound path. So this option will allow you to create shape within a shape. For example, uh, in the case of this leaf, I want a small circle inside this uh, leaf like that and if you select both of these shapes and tap on this make compound path option there is a small hole inside this uh, leaf you can also do this by the pathfinder but the difference is you can edit this shape later if you want like that So 
this option is also very handy. This uh, small circle inside the leaf is a permanent path and permanent part of the uh, leaf, but you can also edit it later if you want. But in the case of Pathfinder, you cannot do that. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you like this video. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.